Hey guys, happy Friday. And we are back with another episode of Training Battles. We're going to just climb the ladder. It's been pretty straightforward. We're going to be using the team we've been featuring the whole week. We've been like some ridiculous, like, I don't know, like 10 and 1 in games. It's pretty good. We're just going to pretty much hop into our matches. We ended up getting four matches the other game, other like yesterday. And we were able to uh, win all of them. So we're around 1740, which is pretty respectable considering everything involved. We're going to try to, uh, <clears throat> well, if we get four games, we can maybe get to, 1500, to 1800, but I doubt it. First rating is 1666 from Tokyo. This is a pretty interesting team. We have a Cress, Heracross, Lapras, Cartana, Zapdos, and Landorus. Um... He doesn't really have Torkoal answers, so I'm just going to lead Smurgle, Oranguru. Smurgle, Oranguru is basically just to follow me, and then you sack your thing, and then you get Trick Room Up, and then you should win. It could be a Solvus Lapras, but I still don't even know if that lives. Um, what's the good fourth mod here? You know, nothing on his team takes Flare Blitzes in the sun really well, so I'm going to bring that. So, like, Flare Blitz does a lot in the sun to Cress, Cartana, Lando. Zah, it does everything. And, and Low Kick will do a decent amount to the Lapras as well. So, like, that's pretty nice going into it. So, good luck to our opponent. Um, Really interesting team, and he's a pretty high rating considering he has some weird Pokemon on his team. So, it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. It would be very optimal if he just kills our Smeardle turn 1. Something that would scare me here would be like... Smeargle... Or, that's actually completely okay. I, is he Scarf? I bet he's Scarf. I bet what he does... This is going to be maybe too hard of a stunt. I'm going to wide guard and switch into my uh, Torkoal. But I think he's going to Earthquake and Trick Room. That's what I really think he's going to do. Oh, this could really backfire for me. I think he's going to Earthquake, though. 100%. It's all dependent on what the Crest does. That's less than optimal. I, I don't... Ah, whatever. I didn't trust myself enough. I'm going to wide guard again. And... Uh, Psychic's not going to do a crazy amount. I think we'll do enough to where Eruption will be more powerful this turn. So, like, I'm going to Eruption again. I really think he's going to be Choice Scarf. Because he has Zapdos and Cress. What? Do I have to explain like why that's suboptimal? Psychic does come out probably on Smeargle, right? This eruption should still do a decent amount, then he's not even. The fudge, man. Okay, so I need to switch out. Man. He has to earthquake here, I'm pretty sure. I did half. I did 25% to Cresselia. So he's like around 75, 30. That's like base. I don't know. Man. Gosh. I'm going to just Trick Room. I'm going to switch in. I think I have to sack Blaziken.
That was so weird. If he was ground him, that would have been a lot worse. Uh, just kill. He'll just kill me here. Depends on what he goes for with a Rangar or with Crest. If he just reverses my trick, room, the game's over. That's really annoying. I don't get like his play turn one. He just kind of. Gosh dang it. Yeah, maybe if I would have side shot. Like, the turn one play, he just played a lot safer, I guess, than I did. He has no reason not to earthquake again. Um, I just, like, that play was. It didn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm going to trick room and I'm just going to. I'm gonna heat wave. He has to. He should earthquake. It does the most damage to everything. And he probably just doubled the Oranguru. I would assume. Gosh, his turn one play I think loses in the game. Yeah. I went too hard with the stunt though, like, I should have just played safe. All out pummeling. What is it even? Okay, like, Earthquake does more anyway, so, like, I don't get that move, but, like. Yeah, like, I was even in a spot where I could win, I just. If I was a real man, I would have made the same play again. I just would have side shot the Lando. That would have been pretty safe. Not safe, but like calling the trick room. Ice Beam does kill. Man, I didn't even get past his lead. That was bad. That's really disappointing. If I would have just followed me trick room, I would have just, I think, won the game. Because I would have two shot his Cresselia. I didn't trust myself enough, though. Like, that's that's all on me. He probably also wouldn't assume that I'm choice specs, and I could just two-shot his crest. Like, for him, that's a pretty safe play. I, I need to think about those a little bit more. I definitely don't. I know a couple of times when I was laddering on Showdown, I'd get mad when, like, they'd switch uh, in a Landris when I could just all-out pummeling their Tyranitar. But, like, oh, they wouldn't... They probably don't know I'm all-out pummeling, you know? We ended up losing... Dropping 19 points from that, so that's pretty unfortunate. But uh, we'll be able to go right into our next match. Oh, and if you guys watched, I uh, did end up playing Light Core, and I ended up winning in three games. So that was a lot of fun. This team was packing quite a punch. And uh, I'll probably uh, I'll probably be testing this a lot more. I don't know if I'm going to bring it anymore when the Trainer Tower open. But I will be testing it at least a little bit. Because <laughs> it's a team that, like... It takes advantage of your opponent a lot. Ultra Terry is our opponent with 1887 from Texas. I don't want to be him right now, man. Nice. Okay. Blazing and kind of... Yeah. It has a decent matchup, especially in the Sun versus this guy's team. If I can get rid of the... Everything, essentially, then I'd be fine. Lele is fine. Carton is the last mon you want just because it's... Uh, it's kind of a rock when it resist. I've definitely beaten a team like this. I think I can beat it again. Um, the Iraq one is... Maybe makes it kind of weird, because it probably Oko's my thing to protect. But we'll see how it goes. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so we lead Blaziken's Miracle. I think that offers the most like potential out of everything. And he leads Coco Araquanid, which makes a lot of sense. I think his play is he just Volt Switches and Hydro Vortex is my Araquanid, so I'm going to switch in Lele, and I'm going to just spore the Araquanid. If he has Taunt, this could be pretty bad. This would actually be really bad. But for some reason, I don't think he has it. I think he has Volt Switch. If he has Sky Drop, too, that could be pretty bad. 
I know nothing, guys. I'm pretty bad at this game. Uh, Hydro Vortex coming. Liquidation? That just kills, yeah. Oh, I lived. Nice. I don't have a switch in. Uh, well, I have a Kartana, which isn't really a switch in. I definitely... Does he have a switch into this, though? I think I would call it if I do. Uh, he has a Cress. Other than that, he doesn't really have a good Psychic switch in. I'm going to switch in my Kartana here. Coco does switch out into the Cresselia. That makes sense. This gives me a free switch back into my... Um, He just went for protect. Alright, so he has a rock winded crest. His last mon has to be something slow, otherwise he loses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just double up the rock winded here with a leaf blade psychic, because he doesn't have a really safe switch into that. He he, he might just be icy wind, which makes sense. Dang it. He's Citrus Berry? That's actually going to be really huge. I think I don't kill it now. Gosh, dang it. Liquidation does come out. Should take another one. I definitely just, um, I think I, I think I whip out the Z move here, because I think Arachnid either spores or switches. I'm going to all out pummel the uh, Arachnid and spore the Chris. Chris actually switches out. What is it going to be into? It's going to be into the top of Coco. Smart play. Probably protect from the Arachnid, I'd assume. I'd assume. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so we got that right. So we're now at plus one. He has landers, which I'm assuming he does, and he's in a pretty decent spot. Like, <laughs> Evasion? No, okay, we get defense, and we get evasion. Falling. Landorus comes in. We don't really want to switch anything out. I think he might just, um... He might just protect EQ this turn. No, he doesn't. <sighs> It's Scarf Lando. Can I manage that? <laughs> Probably not. He just Thunderbolts. My nice Smeargle. Okay. So, now. Ah, oh, that did too much. I crit him? Dang it. Oh, he's Keyberry. Uh... What I think I do is I think I Mega Evolve Flare Blitz the Coco here. And I protect.
I think I lose anyway. Uh What did he Z? Can't do Z Blaze again, right? He's in cart. We're not out of it yet, I don't think. Ah, we're probably out of it. Because he can just, like... Oh, my gosh. I ain't killing that thing. This is like, cause like that was a turn where like, I would swords dance honestly, if I had that. He's Keyberry Moonlight. He should just be Electric Seed or something. That's interesting. I'm at minus one with Cortana. I think there's roughly a zero percent chance I win. I'm gonna Rock Tomb. That I won't even have speed at that point. Like it doesn't even matter. Um. I gotta hope for a Flare Blitz crit, I think. Like, that is- I think that's my out at this point. Nah. Or if I burned him. No, that wouldn't even matter. Yeah, he just Earthquakes and wins. Okay, with that match, what could I have done better? He played really smart, but, like, I feel like- I can handle that team if I know it in the best of three. Like, I, I most Cocos don't run Taunt, so that's kind of why I assumed it wasn't. Also, knowing that he's Keyberry Moonlight, which means that he just might be a more, uh, he might be the, I think he's a Calm Mindset, which I, without even Trick Room. Also, Citrus Berry or Rock The Citrus Berry or Rock one is honestly what probably messed with me the most, because it meant that I didn't get the double target. I uh, didn't have a really... My Lele just died, I think, the turn after. And so, like, that didn't help me out at all. Mega Blaziken was kind of the thing that I was running. If I was Swords Dance, Blaziken, I think that would have helped. But, man, we're kind of not playing well today, guys. We're 17-11, and we'll play one more just because we're only around, like, I think around, like, 17 minutes. So we'll play one more. Um... 1706 from Japan, so this will be a, this will not be a bad way to end it. We're gonna be playing Lando, Titar, Metagross, Azumarill, Cresselia, and Volcarona. Normally they lead stuff like Volcarona versus this team. Blaziken's pretty good, Smeargle's pretty good. Uh, if we can remove the crest from the gameplay, that makes it really well. And we also have Psychic Terrain spam, which is awesome. So those are the four I'm gonna bring. The fast mode is better just because it's really hard to play around the Tyranitar with the Torkoal mode. You just have to play really optimally, which is, like, it's not impossible, but it's also, like, why are you bringing it? <laughs> but the uh, Cartana threatens, like, the Lando, the Titar, and the Azumarill. Blaziken threatens the Volcarona and the Metagross. And, like, the Lele's just really nice, just, um... For like spread dazzling gleam damage and to prevent the Azumarill from attacking. He doesn't have a topo on this team, so like psychic spam would be pretty good here. Um that's kind of my logic going into the matches. I could bring like Torkoal over it, but like Torkoal doesn't really help the matchups a whole lot, so. If he leads Volcarona, we're just going to try to bop at the first turn of the game. His team's kind of spore bait, too. Like, he has a lot of things slow. Lando Azu. So my play is just to, uh... Yeah. It's definitely... I'm definitely just going to switch in Lele and spore Lando. Because that covers an Aqua Jet play, that covers Earthquake, because he's not going to Earthquake himself. He could protect Earthquake. But then I get the Lando to sleep. 
I get Dazzling Gleam, like, just spread Dazzling Gleams for the rest of the game. Azumarill's really slow, so, like, it won't benefit for if, even if it Belly Drums here. So... Yeah, I think that's by far my best play, is just switching lately. Spore. Awesome. Gosh, man. That's pretty bad. Well, actually, no, this isn't bad at all. 40 ground him. If you ground him my Lily, I get a free switch into Kartana, and then, like, I can just instruct Swords Dance the next turn. That was a weird play. He didn't want to Earthquake himself. I get that, but, like... Why went why on earth would you make that play? He has no psychic resist except for the Metagross. Like, okay, here's my options. I'm going to just psychic the Azumarill. I really think he's just gonna switch, like, into Metagross here. Azumarill's not going to do a whole lot to me. It can get rid of like my... Yeah, Lando switches out. Nice. So we're just going to get free damage. Azumarill could like protect here. Yeah, so we called that pretty much correct. Now we just... um. We kind of ignore Metagross next two turns, get Accuracy, and we lose Evasion. We just Psychic, I think we just Psychic Instruct here. Psychic Instruct that should pick up the KO on the Azumarill. I don't think he'd be willingly, I don't think he'd be willing to sack it. Um, probably just switches in maybe his Landers here. Yeah, and that'll die to two Psychics. We have to play safe with the Smirgle, though, because we're at 1 HP. Do get a speed drop, which is a little unfortunate, but like we'll see if it matters the rest of the game. Crest comes in. Yeah, that doesn't look that's not looking pretty good. Okay, so what is Crest gonna do? I just switch, I think. I think I just I might just double switch here. If I can get something to die here, that would be really good. The Metagross still hasn't Mega Evolved yet. I think I just all out pummel the Metagross. And I probably just protect with Blaziken here. He'd have to make like a really bold play, which I mean would make sense, but. Metagross switches out. What is that? See, a Zoom Merrill. 
Is he going for just a kill on the uh, Kartana here? If if so, then that makes sense. He could be going for Trick Room. Oh yeah, that's me. I was like, Chris! It should still do a decent chunk to the Azu though. Not bad. <laughs> Trick Room? Interesting. I don't know if I would have made that play, but if it works out, it works out. This is where I basically just kind of want Blaziken to die. So I'm just going to protect Kartana. And I'll get Flare Blitz Chip, I think, on the... Uh, if I can, I'll get Flare Blitz Chip on the Cresselia. I assume he just double targets the uh, Kartani here, right? Oh, go. H. What? Are you kidding me? Gosh dang it, I'm gonna lose. He's also play rough, which is interesting. How many turns of trick armor left? Three. Oh, I can't win. I need a double. Uh, I think I hope he misplays here. I have to spore the crest. Like, dang it. I'm assuming Smirgle dies this. I'm assuming he just makes a smart play, right? Okay, okay, okay. What do you do? What do you do? That play makes no sense. What? Like, why would you? Okay, whatever. There's, there's still hope. I can do this. I don't think there's any hope. He has HP Fire Crest. Oh my gosh. What does he have in the back? He has a. I got rid of Lando. He has Cartana? No, he has um, Metagross. I just Psychic the Azu here. And I think I protect. I have to get a double. This is just an incredibly safe play for him, though. Wait! Trick Room, Icy Wind, Hidden Power, Fire, Ally Switch? That play makes... Like, that set seems so suboptimal. Also, Metagross woke up. Oh, then I just totally lose anyway. Like, it doesn't even matter. That's actually like one of the dumbest things I think I've ever lost to. I also thought he would bring Tyranitar to that matchup. I'm kind of surprised he didn't. Um, Tyranitar, Torkoal, or Ingr I, I need to trust that mode, I guess, a little bit more. So, um, forget what you said about we were going to start really well with the team. We actually played uh, pretty bad today. We ended up losing all three games. But like... 
Hidden Power Fire and Cresselia, like, I don't get that at all. I don't really think that's really good. Um... It's kind of crazy. Like, <sighs> Alice, which Hidden Power Fire. Icy Wind Trick Room. Like, what kind of set is that? I'm kind of speechless, guys, actually. Uh, um, anyway, I think that... <laughs> man. The rest of the video... We're gonna probably be below 1700s, but, like, that's just how it goes. Sometimes you get some bad matchups, and I didn't play so necessarily pretty optimally in a couple of the games. The last game, I was, um... I felt actually okay going into the final bit, but, like, he still outplayed me a decent chunk. Just the Hidden Power Fire, I think, was the icing on the cake. But... Uh, that wraps up our video. Uh, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Um, man, dude, that was crazy. We went 10-4 and four with the team. I'll probably... I might use this team to start the new series, like the new season. Um, the season, I think, ends on Monday, if I remember correctly. And so we're going to have some fun with that. Just uh, be sure to look out for it. I think that's going to be everything. I'm, I'm going to be signing off, and I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you for watching.